Why do hamsters die so weird? Have you ever heard of a hamster exploding? Have you heard horror stories of a hamster eating another hamster? Because they're common pets with short lifespans, a lot of people who have had experience with the death of a hamster. But there are many crazy stories all over the internet about childhood hamsters dying in strange, traumatic ways. What makes them different from any other animal? Why do hamsters die so weird? The first answer is their size. Hamsters are tiny animals. Even the largest breed of hamster will fit in one hand. This means that sickness and disease that affect larger animals over time will affect hamsters extremely quickly. Tumors, for example, can grow exponentially in a hamster to the point where they burst out of their skin. From the outside, it looks like the hamster has just exploded, but in reality, their unnosed tumor has just grown too big for their skin. Another issue with a hamster's size is their escape artist abilities. Hamsters can fit their entire bodies through any hole that's big enough for their head, making freedom flights a common occurrence. Hamsters can escape their cages and sneak into walls or vents where toxic insulation with no food and water. A hamster's small size makes them more sensitive to the world around them. The second answer is their care. Hamsters require less one-on-one -on -one attention from their owners, making it hard to spot any issues that come up. On top of that, the ongoing myth that hamsters are okay to be handled by young children leaves them prone to being dropped, squished, or mishandled to the point of injury. Children don't often know right from wrong and will attempt to experiment with their hamsters, putting them in places that they shouldn't be, like the microwave. Stories about hamsters' eyes popping out of their sockets or their feet being broken by a fall are usually the product of not being enough supervision by an adult. All in all, it's important that your hamster receives good quality veterinary care from a vet you trust. It is good to handle your hamster gently, checking them for injury or illness every once in a while. Even though their lifespans are short, a vet can let you know what to do to make their lives as comfortable and happy as possible. Hamsters can live to their full potential and die peacefully if us all parents work together to spread valuable hamster care information.